Good morning, everybody. Welcome to my garage. Today, I just left the garage. I'm actually driving for a little bit of an adventure this weekend. My brother, Robert, has worked for Disney for 35 years, and he retired a couple weeks ago. So he doesn't know it yet, but his family is throwing him a surprise retirement party this weekend. And I'm driving down to Florida to be part of it. And um, the plan is, is that we got a hotel at Universal. And um, Robert's going to be spending the weekend with me. We're going to just hang out and be brothers. We're going to go to the park. We're going to ride some roller coasters. We're going to have a few things to eat. And um, I'm going to try to document the whole event. And the idea is, is that we were staying in a hotel to get him out away from the family, away from the home, so that uh, his wife and kids could get the party stuff ready and to just kind of take him out of the environment so that it doesn't give it away. And then somehow, tomorrow, Saturday, when we're at Universal, I have to come up with a way to get him out of Universal and decide to go to the bar or restaurant where the party is. And that's up to me to get him there without giving the surprise away. So, shh, be quiet. Don't tell him. He won't see this until afterwards anyway, but be quiet, don't tell him. And uh, we'll see how this trip goes. Right now, just to give you an update, I'm in South Carolina still. And um, I have six and a half hours before I get to the Orlando area. So we'll talk to you throughout the day. And um, hopefully we'll have some fun things to show you. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. Just wanted to give you an update on my road trip. I'm about to head into Georgia here in the Savannah area. And it's starting to rain. And I'll show you a picture here. I got some heavy weather in front of me that's going to potentially be crossing over I-95. So I think my time right now, it says about four hours before I get there. But I think that time is going to go up once I start hitting this heavier rain and what looks like severe storms. So we'll check in a little bit later and give you an update. Ah. Hey everybody, I'm actually almost to Florida. So I'm making good progress and I'm staying ahead of all that heavy weather. I, I've checked the, the weather uh, map a few times and it's literally just to the west of me. I'm staying in front of it. You know, it starts raining a little bit and then I drive out of it. It starts raining again. I drive out of it again. So it's right on my tail. I'll be stopping here for bio break and I'm afraid the weather's going to catch up with me. And uh, we'll see how it goes, but just wanted to get here. We are on the boat. We are. <laughs> Going where? The first ride, the city walk. Okay. <laughs> Well, what are we doing right now? Walking. We're walking to the park from the hotel, but it's a very beautiful path as you can see. But we're already getting sweaty, burning off our breakfast calories. See you in a little while. So it's like 8.45 in the morning and I'm already pouring sweat, or we're already pouring sweat. <laughs> but whew, it's going to be a hot one today. And then here, look at the shirts that Liz made. Can you see it? I can't tell. I sweat. Yeah, it's so sweat all over it already. And then mine just says, I like to ride roller coasters too. But whew, man, it is hot. Here I am sweating the dickens again, standing here. I don't know if it's because I'm in the heat, in this bright hot sun or about to blow on this crazy butt of a roller coaster. <laughs> so 
So, I don't know if you can hear me or not. I don't. I don't want Robert to hear me. He. I don't think he has any idea about the surprise later today. I came up with some lame excuse. I was thinking for hours, what? Can, how can I get him there? And then I came up with some lame excuse about getting out of the heat in the middle of the day and going out to eat. And luckily, he mentioned that they had a good chicken salad sandwich. And I love chicken salad sandwich. I'm a connoisseur of chicken salad sandwiches. So we're going to go there to try it out. And I had him text Liz and say, hey, Liz, why don't you meet us there? So we'll see if it works. Right now, we're in line for the Minion Blaster. It's a new, new ride. And they're testing it right now, doing a soft opening, and we're getting to try it out. Okay, I gotta talk quick. Rob's in the bathroom. Shh, he doesn't. No, I don't think he suspects anything yet. We're running on the lake. We had a hard time getting back from the park because it's gonna storm and the boats are running. We had to run here. So anyway, we're running late, but I'm hoping to get him there. Once again, pouring sweat today. In line right now for Thunder Mountain. Ooh, oh, soaking wet. But we're having fun. Right? We're having fun? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. out in the very first room today on Buzz Lightyear because we know what we're doing. Robert, looks like my yep, answer. We do, we're done. Now we can just ride through and watch everybody else and enjoy the scenery. <laughs> what did we just do? We, we just entered and exited the grid. Oh. It's like 11 30 at night what are yeah. we what are we doing this is this is you right now what this, are we doing or you changed no it's just no. dark we are going to find a what the reflection on the other building is and why are we doing this because we're children <laughs> <laughs> that's the time machine harrison and i believe it's a digital billboard somewhere that we can't see robert thinks it's the sign for a hotel so we already went up on the one parking deck to try to find the reflection. Fail, big, big fail. So now, to prove Robert wrong, we're going to prove to him that it's not the entry sign for the hotel, which is a bunch of neon stripes. And this, the reflection we were seeing was more like a digital you know, LED billboard. So we'll see you in a minute. So we made it to the sign and and um, and I don't know here it's called it something it might be something else it's not the sign the sign does not change not changing colors nope not the sign well headed home it's Monday morning and uh, overall I have to say it was a pretty successful trip Robert was surprised Yay. And, um, um, 
you know, it was hot. My throat's gone just from yelling over all the noisy things I've been doing this weekend. But um, I probably sweated more in the last two and a half days than I have in the last year combined. Um, it was hot. It was sunny and hot. And, you know, between sweat and getting poured on and downpours, um, it was a very wet weekend. So I have some laundry to do when I get home. And uh, that's it. So, you know, I've got my Mountain Dew. I'm on the road. About seven and a half hours I should be home. And that's about it. Bye, everybody.